Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to share with you my quick thoughts and my first impressions of the newest perfume release from YSL and it's a flanker. This is YSL Libre Le Parfum. So I have been looking forward to this one. I think that bottle is gorgeous. They're the same as the other ones in the collection, but the bottle design is like A++++. I love, I love it so much. Also, the juice of this one is super, super dark, and I really like when perfumes have that dark color. They just automatically give me this feeling, like a warm and cozy feeling, kind of sets me uh, in some kind of mood for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, I really love the intense version. That is my absolute favorite of the entire collection. And this one here I've been looking forward to because I like the intense so much. Uh, the top notes in this one are ginger, saffron, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. The middle notes are lavender and orange blossom. Base notes are bourbon, vanilla, honey, tonka bean, and vetiver. Straight off the bat is orange blossom. That is the most prominent note here. A spicy, sweet orange blossom note. And I get the lavender immediately as well. And with this one, the Le Parfum version, it does come off a lot sweeter, a lot softer than the intense version. This is less animalic, less spicy, less lavender compared to the intense version. It just feels like they've taken the intense version and toned it down a lot to make it lot, a lot more softer and more polite. Whereas the intense version is very loud and bold and intense and in your face. And that's exactly why I love it so much. So as this one dries down, it kind of reminds me of the dry downs of the other Libres in the collection. I'm left with a musky, warm, sweet orange blossom vanilla scent with some spice. I smell the spice, the saffron, right from the beginning in the opening, and but I do also smell it in the dry down. It's just less, less noticeable, but it's still there. And basically with this one, it feels like this version, the Le Parfum version, is somewhere in between the intense and the original version. It's like a nice middle ground between the two. I think it's beautiful, you guys. I ordered some travel sizes of this one already. It's waiting for me back home in the Netherlands, so I can wear that uh, when I get home, and I'm really excited for that, but I think this is just so, so gorgeous. So those are my quick thoughts on Libre Le Parfum. If you've tried it, please let me know what you think of it, which is your most favorite from the collection. I think for me, my favorite is still the intense version, but this one comes a close second. It's more wearable, I would say, than the intense version and um, suitable for year rounds, very versatile and so classy and elegant and gorgeous. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.